Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back here with the next episode of the Soldier Series of Mass Effect 3. Before we get in the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, it's going. Okay, here we go. Turn on the fan, it's a little warm in here. I have not had a good day today. I, I really haven't. There's so much crap going on anymore, it just... Fuck it, you know? fuck are we doing anyway? I don't know. Oh, we'll look around for stuff, I guess. I don't know. I just figured you'd be more sympathetic to someone joining Cerberus. You've never been big on him. Commander, Dr. Chappell sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. We talked to her, damn it! To go kill somebody. What the hell does she want? Are you sure you want to play this game? What's the matter, Vicarian? You chicken? I don't even know what that is. Though I've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it. But if you're suggesting I'm scared, game on, Vega. Age before wisdom. Okay. Back in my CSEC days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. Please, I fought off a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had now. I tracked down this guy, Saren. Stopped him from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers three years ago. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. You're right. I was the Shepherd from the very beginning. That just means you're old. What now? Shepherd? Remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise Ice Brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes. Well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... Indulge my impatience. You grab the glasses. I'll open the bottle. And Jeff says, Jack, Jacqueline Subject Zero, is sorry, but it's ma'am to me. I'd like to keep my Admiral Winky. Oh, Shepard. You know, I just realized. You've never called me by my first name. Well, neither have you. And I never will. You are Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel, conqueror of the Collectors, savior of the galaxy. Using your first name just disrespects everyone you're fighting for, alive or gone. <laughs> that makes no sense. Consider it a lady's prerogative, then. Come, let's have a toast. To a woman I'm proud to call my friend. I'm lucky to have you with me, Karen. And to you, dear friend. It is my great honor to share this journey with you. Commander Shepard. And good fortune to us all. I've learned my lesson this time. Even a Krogan couldn't match you drink for drink. Okay. You've been through a lot, Scars. You giving up? Nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. Fair enough. We've all got one of those. Just one, huh? Yeah. Not every story has a happy ending. Except there was this one time I teamed up with a Turian named Garrus Vicarian. He was pretty good with a gun, but he thought he was some kind of hotshot. Yeah. 
Yeah, I knew this wise-ass marine named Jimmy Vega. Sounds like a pole dancer on Omega. Always got on my nerves. But the kid was all right. Had guts when it counted. And together they cured the genophage. And stopped Cerberus from taking over the Citadel. And finally kicked the Reapers from this galaxy and into the next. With a little help from their friends. Nah, it was just us. But mostly me. Okay. Some of the banner's kind of funny, but, you know. Oh, shit. I need to... I doubt Ashley wants to talk, but whatever. We got lucky down there, Commander. Civilians, children, could have been very bad. I don't even want to think about it. But scooping the scientists right from under the elusive man's nose, that's got to piss him off. All right. Okay. What now? Already did that. Okay. Okay. Get the hell out of here. No, I, I went to Walmart today to get a new vacuum, and the Walmart we have here isn't very big. And so, um... I got looking around and I found the vacuums and they didn't have very big ones but then I found this big one that I really liked and it's like oh this is cool so I grab it take it up front pay for it you know without a problem well right before I walk out the door I happen to look down it wasn't even a vacuum it was a damn carpet cleaner so thankfully I found that out before um before leaving the store, you know. Signal confirmed. But when I tried to return the damn thing, they had trouble returning it because the sale take it takes an hour for a sale to um get into the computer system so because of that i had to get one of the team leaders to evasion successful um to come over and override the um override the system just so they can uh, return it you know and it, it's not that I wasn't happy with the store or anything like that it just um it, it wasn't what I needed I needed a vacuum cleaner not a carpet cleaner faster than you know I mean you see these videos on YouTube of people getting pissed off at Walmart because they're either being searched or they're being accused of stealing or something like that, which would piss me off, but I wasn't accused of any of that. It's just I was trying to return it because it was something that I didn't need, and I figured why open the box when um, why open the box when um, you know, I'm not going to use it. You know, 
why not just leave it brand new? You know, that way then people don't... That way then people don't, um, have to deal with a used product, you know? But I can't believe it was such a headache to return. Yeah, there's nothing here. All right. Friggin' nightmare. It really was. It really was. It's a frickin' nightmare. getting to the point anymore it's just you know i'm done fighting i'm done fighting trying to make a good life i'm done trying to think that i can have a good life because apparently i can't you know i've lost it life decided to quit window shopping I'm decided to quit going out I mean I'm to the point now I'm not even gonna leave the house if I don't have to anymore you know found something I don't need to be going to town anymore just to go to town I don't need to be being part of society when I've never been accepted by society anyway so Eluded. This is what pisses me off about this game. You try to find these fucking resources and you can't find them. There's another one. Alright. There it is. Alright. Evasion successful. <laughs> I 
papers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. There it is. I found it. Finally. Successful. Fucking found it. Oh, I am I am too far away from it. There we go. All right. Light jump successful. Finally. Fucking found it. Signal confirmed. There's one on the planet. There's the wreckage. Evasion successful. Shut up, Edie. Okay. Reapers eluded. After the resources, well, you know, they help at the end. They help at the end. And some of them you got to turn in at the Citadel, too. Signal confirmed. I got two of them. Look at that. Two of them with one shot. Give me the wreckage. All right. Okay, that should be all of it. That should be all of it. For now. Well, maybe not. Signal confirmed. One. Search an ilium.
decision successful. Yes, yes, I know. I'm looking for the other goddamn... Reapers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. Now, another thing that's kind of on my mind, too, I finally realized, Evasion. you know, my vote doesn't fucking matter when it comes to the elections here in the United States. My vote just doesn't fucking matter. So, you know what? The, the illusion of we the people here in the United States having a voice, it, that's all it is. Reapers eluded. It's an illusion. And people need to understand that, look, our vote just does not matter. It does not matter. And we need to stop voting. We just need to stop. You know? The establishment's already won. When it comes to... Evasion successful. When it comes to living our lives, you know? They've already won. They've already won. They already control us. They already own us. We may as well just accept it. You know, there's no reapers eluded. There's no letting us live our lives anymore. We, we can't live our lives anymore. You know, we may as well just start bowing to our overlords and, you know, we can have somewhat of a comfortable life. You know, I found something. Whoops, that's okay. Fuck it. I don't care. I don't care. Signal confirmed. We got one dual depot. Faster than light jumps. Later, suckers. I found something. There's that one. Thank fucking God. Check this out. It's a uh, Asari colony. What do they want? I wonder. Everyone wants something. Since we're using powers, we'll use these two. fan of stasis. I'm sure there's a um Okay. 
I'm sure there's some sort of strat that you can use stasis with. I'm not a fan of it, so... Dig up any information on the mission, Lyra? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. What were the commandos orders? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. Okay, we'll take that. Check around for items. You never know. There might be more upgrades. You never know. Doesn't look like it, though. Okay. Get yourself some more ammo on. Elevator disabled to prevent entry or escape, I wonder. Really, you think we are? Shit. I hear something. Stay sharp. It would seem the Asari commandos fell silent because the Reapers were here to greet them. This monastery is out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Ardat Yakshi? Anything useful? A floor plan marked with the nav point location of a bomb. It's in some place called the Great Hall. The commandos decided to purge this place. Ardat Yakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Okay, that's the way we're supposed to go. Okay. Sorry. Okay. That's why you look around. That's exactly why you look around, because I found an upgrade for Glyph. For, well, to use with Glyph. Reapers, yep. Okay.
Right, anything over here? No. All right. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara? It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here. And I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already invested this place by the time I arrived. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. My name is Tasha Pori. I'm wounded. Bad. Give this to my bondmate, Weshra. Asked her to go to the Citadel and tell Weshra I love her. Tell her. Okay. An isolated fortress. The Adat Yokshi must have believed they were safe from the war. If they knew about it at all. They learned. Okay, I know where to go, but you gotta look around, you gotta make sure you have plenty of stuff, you gotta... She was nothing. I took them out like they were nothing too. Oh, we got a couple more. There we go. Person and Asari. What have the Reapers done? This is why I kind of like the Inferno ammo a little better than, um, Warp. It does way more damage. Mother, you came. As soon as I was able. Shepard. This is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother, been... they have Rila! What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... into those. 
Monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. We need to find Rila fast. The bomb we're looking for is in the Great Hall. A bomb? What, didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Falaire. You sound like the Commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Falaire? I'm sorry. The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. <clears throat> we'll meet you there. Please be swift. Okay. That's where we're supposed to go. That's where we came from, I bet. No, no, it wasn't. Okay, we came from the stairs. That's where we came from. But we'll check that damaged elevator real quick. need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. <clears throat> I didn't know if there would be a hidden item in them or not. how you do that. I don't mess around when it comes to enemies. That disciple will probably go to Liara because it's an Asari weapon. we came from? I don't think so. <coughs> it's not, because here's a wall safe. like it. All right.
lenses and scope for the assault, <coughs> assault rifle. Here's the Great Hall. We've found our bomb. And Valer. Rila, wake up! Valer, Rila cannot hear us. Look, she's still alive! I know, but I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not one of them yet, she can't be! She just needs to wake up! Rila? Rila, can you hear me? begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? We need a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. goodbye. Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila. 
Rila made her choice. And it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Valer. The code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all... Let go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I'd understand if you wanted to help Falaire rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Falaire, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. Okay. I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. There were no Ardat Yakshi left. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the Monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Really? What does he want? Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? Nothing. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Okay. Well, that's going to be the end of this video. We took care of the Yachi Monastery, so I hope y'all had fun. I did somewhat. Then I'll see y'all next episode.